hey, it's Phil again. Thanks for checking out my channel. Be sure to subscribe by pressing the button below so you can receive my latest videos. You can also click on the link below to get immediate access to my books on Amazon, Awesome Guitar Series. Today we're going to talk about the meaning of enharmonic tones. Maybe you've heard of this phrase before, maybe you haven't. Um, but basically what it comes down to is it's a note that's given multiple names. And the reason I wanted to cover this is because when I covered all the different keys, I talked about there being such a note as C flat and isn't that the same as B? Okay, so in my video back then, I kind of said no because I was relating it to the key of music that we were talking about at the time. Is C flat the same as B? Yes, sonically it produces the same sound. Can I call C B sharp? And the answer is yes. Remember, we want to have an understanding about this. There's certain times when you have to accept why something is the way it is because it has to fit how music is put together. The reason we would have a C flat or a B sharp is because we're talking about a certain key that has that note inside of it. That means that there isn't another B if there's a B sharp, right? It, it, they just can't exist. If B sharp is in the key, then that key has to have that B sharp and B sharp only. Now, I'm not talking about modified keys or melodic minors, okay? I'm not talking about, I'm talking about major keys and minor keys and the basic modes. And so just know that. I don't want this to be a really long video, but like, here, hang on. Okay, so here is A. I could call this A. I could call it G double sharp. I could call it B double flat. How's that for a crazy idea? Can you double flat something or double sharp something? Yeah, you can. And it, it, it has to do with how the song, whatever the song is being played and what the composer's intention is trying to convey. Um, a double sharp is like an X and a double flat just has two flats in front of it. So can I call this note, which is G, can I call it an A double flat? Yeah. Could I call it an F double sharp? Yeah. Can I call F sharp G flat? Yeah. And harmonic tones. It's, a, it's just the same note, but for the song it's in at that point in time, it's been given a different title for a specific reason. And so that's really going back to talking about how music is crafted and designed, but I just wanted to throw that out there real quick. Okay. So enharmonic tones are aliases for the exact same note. So I can call a C a B sharp and I can call a B a, a, a C flat. Sonically, it's the same note, but it's being used in the song composition for a specific reason. It's being called that for a reason. And we're not going to get into all the minutiae about that. We're just going to say, hey, whoever the composer was, they did this for a reason. And we're, we're going to accept it. This is some of the stuff that you're really never going to, I think, run into a lot of. But it's good just to have a little background, you know, a little tidbit for you to have a awareness of. So when you see certain things being taught, if somebody says you can never do that, um, like you can never double sharp an A, um, why not? You can sure you can, okay. You can never have a C flat. Absolutely, you can. Okay, is it sonically the same note as B? Yeah, it is. But just <laughs> there you go. Just one of those little things I wanted to bring up and just say, hey, I don't know if you knew this, but now you do. All right. Hey, thanks again. Thanks for watching this video again. I'm Phil Olson. To purchase the Awesome Guitar Series. Click on the link below, it'll take you to Amazon. You can see full descriptions of each one of the volumes. After you've made your purchase and you receive them, go home and practice. <laughs>